Sega. Hello and welcome to the Battle Magic Spotlight for Total War Warhammer. In this video, we'll explain how the magic system works in Total War Warhammer and how you can use it to your advantage to best the many enemies you will encounter in the old world. On the battlefield, characters use power from the Winds of Magic to cast their spells. Power is represented by the large glass orb in the bottom right of the screen. The smaller bar to the right of the orb is the power reserve. The power reserve does not recharge. However, depending on how you've uploaded certain magic users, they can use abilities that give a small boost to the power reserve, giving you just that little extra bit to get off a spell in a time of need. Magic on the battlefield has large tactical implications if used correctly. A light wizard, for example, can cast the net of Amentop in an area to momentarily paralyze enemy movement. Then, the light wizard could cast Banishment, an 18 second vortex spell that can tear through those bogged down enemies, disrupting their formations and causing large magical damage to all in its path. This type of 1-2 combo is perfect for enemies coming through tight spaces such as broken down walls or streets. However, combining spells such as these doesn't come cheap, and spending the majority of your winds of magic in large lump sums is always risky, as spells such as vortexes are unpredictable and have the potential to backfire. Some spells can be used to completely catch your enemy off guard. Can't quite chase down that pistolier cavalry that keeps shooting you from a distance? With the law of vampires, you could cast Raise Dead, reanimating a unit of zombies behind them. Now they won't know where to turn to avoid close quarters combat. Similarly, defenders of tight streets, gates or walls can be neatly exposed to a fresh unit of zombies climbing out of the ground to wreak havoc from behind, causing fear and panic to the defenders. The Winds of Magic isn't all about who has the bigger spell. Rather, it rewards those with the deepest knowledge of units on the battlefield. Each law has a variety of hexes and buffs that can be cast on individual units or in large areas. If your particular army or unit is vulnerable to something, you can usually counter it with some sort of spell. Walk or fix it from the law of the little while causes a minus 24% to speed and a minus 18% to charge bonus in a 30 meter radius. This is a perfect example of a charge defense spell. Best used when a cavalry charge is incoming. The enemy cavalry will count for nothing as they travel through the area of the hex and have a flavorless, exhausted impact when it's hit the front line. It's also imperative that you learn your lore through and through, as spell categories have their own variations in behavior. Taking vortexes, for example, chain lightning is a strong damage dealing spell. The purple son of Zerus does less damage, but is more of a disruptor pulling units out of formation and hurling them around the battlefield. Wind of Death is a straight line vortex that will ricochet off walls giving it a large damage spread. These variations in behavior can have a huge impact on the battlefield, so studying the law you're using is key to victory. Not all races in Total War Warhammer access the Winds of Magic in the same way. The dwarves, for instance, have a natural resistance to magic and are mistrustful of the dark arts. They rely instead on runesmiths who bind the winds of magic to create powerful runes, which can be activated during a battle. Unlike the winds of magic, these runes never lose their power during a battle and can be activated after a small and brief cooldown period, making runesmiths an incredibly powerful and effective foe on the battlefield. The winds of magic in a province change the availability of magic in any battle fought there. Strong winds hand an advantage in battle to any units that cast spells. The winds of magic always blow, but they can blow at different strengths in different places on the map, and the strength varies over time. The strength of the winds of magic at the location of a selected army is shown on the army panel and prior to battle on the pre-battle panel. The strength of the Winds of Magic in any province may be increased or decreased by certain stance or heroic actions. I am in ascent. There are a variety of magic users in Total War Warhammer, each with their own tech tree that allows you to choose and upgrade the spells you want to unlock for that particular character. These unique lords, heroes and units have access to different laws of magic. A Bright Wizard, for example, has access to the Law of Fire 
while a celestial wizard has access to the law of heavens. Each law of magic has six unique spells to choose from, some of which can be overcast. Overcasting allows for greater power and duration of spells for an increased winds of magic cost. However, overcasting also comes with a 50% miscast chance, meaning your spellcaster could potentially harm themselves. That's all for our Battle Magic Spotlight in Total War Warhammer. Subscribe for more Total War Warhammer videos and connect with us on social media to get the latest news and exclusive content.